Hey everybody, so in this video it says the terminal side of angle A in standard position goes through this point, 5, negative 4. Draw the reference triangle in the Cartesian plane that is made by the point, first by plotting the point and then clicking on all the vertices of the triangle. If the trigonometric value is undefined, then answer INF. Okay, so first they want us to plot this point. 5, negative 4, and they want us to make a triangle with that. So the first thing we're going to do is put our plot at our origin. We're going to go over to 5, make a click, go down to negative 4, click, go back to our origin. Here's our triangle. Now when we get here, we're going to click twice. All right? So here's our triangle values. Now they ask us to answer each of these questions. So in order to find sine, cosine, and tangent, we're going to need the adjacent leg, the opposite leg, and the hypotenuse. So we're going to fill in these values here. So this leg here is going to be positive 5. So we'll put a 5 here. And this leg here is going to be 4. But this 4 is down from the x-axis, so its value is going to be negative 4. And then this is the hypotenuse, so it is going to be the squared sum of this leg plus this leg. Remember, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So let's work that out here. We have 5 squared plus, this is negative 4 squared, is going to equal c squared. Well, we know that 5 squared is 25. We know negative 4 squared is 16, and this will equal the hypotenuse squared. 25 plus 16 is going to be 41, so 41 is the value of our hypotenuse. So here, if we, well, it's the value of our hypotenuse squared. So our actual hypotenuse is going to be the square root of 41. So here, I'll take this value and put it right here. And we'll move these just over here to the side. Now, the square root here is never going to be negative because some value squared is always positive. This value squared is always positive, and a positive plus a positive has to give me another positive. So here with sine, cosine, and tangent, you see this theta here? This theta is referencing the reference angle. Well, the reference angle is always inside the triangle by the origin. So let's put a theta symbol there. We'll take this, we'll make it a little bit smaller, and we'll stick it right inside right there. All right? So everywhere now that it says sine of theta, this is theta. So sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So here, this would be the opposite, negative 4, over the hypotenuse. So here, I'm just going to type in negative 4 over the square root of 41. So that's my sine ratio. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so the adjacent leg is positive 5. So this will be 5 over the square root of 41. Tangent here is the opposite over the adjacent, so this is going to be negative 4 over 5. And reference angle. Now, sometimes there was a little bit of confusion about the reference angle and the measure of angle A. So the reference angle is theta itself. What is the value of this theta angle? So in order to find that, I need to use inverse trig. Now, it doesn't matter which of these three ratios you use. Since tangent looks the simplest, we're going to use it. So I'll pull up my Desmos calculator here, and we'll clear these values. And I'm going to type in the inverse tangent of negative 4 over 5. And this value here says negative 38.66. So this is negative because we're in the fourth quadrant, but we're referencing, we're referencing a reference angle. Reference angles are never going to be negative. They're always going to be positive because we're talking about the distance that this hypotenuse is from the x-axis. What would that degree be? So that is going to be 38.66. So here for our reference angle, we're going to say 38.66. Now, the measure of angle A, this sometimes can confuse some people when we talk about the measure of angle A. This point right here is what we call our 
terminal side. So this was the side of the angle that started actually here and rotated through quadrant one, two, three, all the way right here. And we want to know how many degrees did it rotate from the x-axis to get here? Well, we know that if I went in a full circle, that would be 360 degrees. Well, I didn't go quite in a full circle. I went through quadrant one, two, three, and then here. So I was three, or excuse me, I was 38.66 degrees short of 360. So on my calculator, I could come down to another line and I could say 360 minus 38.66. And that's going to give me 321.34. So here, 321.34. Now, let's say on your question that you're actually in a different quadrant. You can think about this intuitively. Let's say I were in the third quadrant here. So I would take from here and I would say, oh, I went 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then whatever my reference angle is, I traveled that in addition. So really it's just 180 plus the reference angle. So we could think about that as we go through all four quadrants. So these are going to be my solutions. Let's scroll right down here and click Submit. We'll say yes. We want to check all of our answers. And there we go. We got all of them right. So remember, if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments. And we'll see you all in the next video.